Hi. Um, this is my entry to the mathematics uh, awareness contest. This month's topic is mathematics and voting. And um, I just, I guess with primaries lately, I've been thinking about that a bit. So I can, I can talk a bit about it. Um, so one way to approach voting from a math standpoint is to think about um, whether your vote means anything. So if you imagine like a hundred million votes, um, l let me, uh, I gotta, so a hundred million votes and um, And, and there are two, two candidates. So each of the 100 million votes can be for one of the two candidates. Um, and so let's assume a person is equally likely to vote for either candidate. So then the question becomes, what is the chance that your vote will determine the outcome of the election. Um, so this, this is where the math part comes in and, and the awareness. So, okay, so you have 100 million, okay. I haven't, I haven't done this in a while, but, so I think you do 100 million factorial, we're doing, I think we're doing a hundred million choose fifty million would be the number of ways you could get a result that is a t is a tie, and then your vote would matter. So a hundred million factorial over. 50 million factorial times 100 million minus 50 million in parentheses factorial. That's 50 million. So, a see it? Yeah, okay. So that's, it's not a trivial calculation. That's why, in addition to math awareness, you should have calculator awareness. But I think I can do it. So 100 million divided by, oh, factorial. Do you know how to do factorial on a T89? Um, oh, here. Over 50 million factorial times 50 million factorial oh it well um oh well uh so the answer is zero it says overflow replaced by infinity. So, in other words, the number's really small. Um, or no, it should be big. Uh, I don't, I, I don't know. I think if you worked it out, if you think about flipping a coin a hundred, so imagine, just hold on, just, just um, if you had a coin with heads and tails to the two sides and you flipped it a hundred million times, 
the ch the chance that you'd have exactly fifty million heads and fifty million tails is really small because there are a certain number of ways to to get you know fifty million of each, but there are many more total outcomes that are possible. So um, the point is that um, it's very unlikely that your vote will make a difference. Um, and then I guess I was, now I, I wonder if there's an odd number of voters, does that, I think the analysis would basically be the same. Um, it would, cause you could still be the deciding vote. I don't know, I don't know. But I mean, yeah. So I get like a lot of people still vote and I think the reason is they're not aware of um, the binomial distribution. Uh, so, you know, I hope in a small way this video contributes to math awareness and, um, you know, hopefully we'll have a lower voter uh, your percentage in the future. So, um, you know, just, okay, thanks.